But we're up here on the uh, Baskin Lunsford Memorial stage here, and uh, I never got to meet uh, Baskin Lunsford. He died the year I was born, it was 1973. <laughs> <laughs> These guys were was, already born up 20, here. I was 20 years old. <laughs> and thankfully my dad was already born in 1973. But a lot of the energy that Bascom put into this local music and the, the dance and the ballad singing and the storytelling from this area is the reason why we're all still here. And uh, provided an opportunity for a kid like me to come out and play, play music. And I'm going to do a tune that uh, Bascom first recorded back in the late 20s, I believe. He was one of these song collectors, if you've heard of these folks that would go out <clears throat> amongst the, uh, the hollers in the hills and the, uh, find a cabin somewhere, and more than likely there'd be somebody in there with a banjo or a fiddle. He would know an old song and Bascom would learn it. And he would record it, and again, that's how his energies of doing that uh, helped pave the way for, you know, all of us up here to learn these songs and, and keep playing them and perpetuate this great tradition. But this is a tune about the building of the Swannanoa Tunnel. And uh, if you came in, uh, came into Asheville from the east, uh, you would have, you probably would have seen a sign over to the right on I-40 uh, concerning the Swannanoa Tunnel. It's still there. But uh, a short story of this: uh, it was right, uh, right after the Civil War, sort of in the late 1870s. There was a drought in this area, <clears throat> and uh, there was no way to get things in and out. Uh, easily. There wasn't, you know, good roads and things like that at that point, so uh, it was the idea to try to build a tunnel, build a, uh, build a train line from uh, Salisbury, North Carolina, up to Asheville to help bring goods and services in and out of the area. And uh, the Swannanoa Tunnel was a big uh, uh, part of this project that kind of got in the way. And one of the uh, interesting things about it, it was one of the first times in this country, or the first time in this country, that nitroglycerin was used in a big public works project. So you can imagine, <laughs> a lot of folks up here in the mountains of North Carolina with a lot of explosives. Good fodder for a bluegrass song, Jack. Laura's gonna sing along, maybe. She gets, uh, I need a vocal worried. Stork. she gets worried when she can't hear herself. They can't hear me either. Now you can, can't you? Okay. So here's a little ballad about the building of the Swannanoa Tunnel. A train's got to run from Rowan County. The land's run dry, baby, the land's run dry. How you gonna get that line over the mountain? Gonna dig right through, baby, gonna dig right through The Asheville Junction, the Swannanoa Tunnel All caved in, baby, all caved in I'm going back to the Swannanoa Tunnel That's my home, baby, that's my home Shines like gold, baby, it shines 
shines like gold. Throw this hammer in the smile of a river. It'll ring right on, baby. It'll ring right on. And the Asheville Junction. When you hear that a mountain blowing, another man's gone, baby, another man's gone. And when you hear that a mountain crying, the train rolls on, baby, the train rolls on. In the Asheville Junction, swan or a tunnel, all caved in, baby. Thank you very much. Again, it's always great to come back here and, and uh, play the shindig on the green. I, gr I grew up doing this every Saturday night when I was a kid with my dad, my grandfather, my sister. And that was Saturday nights, but uh, Thursday nights was a different story. And uh, we had a, a great jam session every Thursday night at the home of uh, Neely and Wayne Hyatt. And there she is. We're gonna do one more here. Thank you, Jack, for showing up. Where have you been? Oh, you just sort of showed up here. tonight. You had no plans to be here, and here you are. Uh, my wife's brother just moved, to, and his wife just moved to uh, Weaverville, and I came down after a gig in Ash County last night right. to visit Great. for today. So now you know where we are. Yeah. Don't stay away. Everybody say hello, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> hello back. So Jack toured with Doc Watson for about 27 years or so, give or take a few of those. <laughs> and uh, this is the song that Doc would end all his sets with, and it's a great old number. It's called The Way Downtown. And I'll just... Uh
chair With one arm around this old guitar And another one around my dear